Hola, hola, machita. Oh, <laughs> let me just say hola, ladies and gentlemen, just in case, yeah, bo. Uh, my name is Bo Miaga from KZN and go by the name of Bo Miaga KZN. Today I am going to show you how to record good vocals or how to get good vocals without a studio mic or any other mic you can use, yeah, bo. So we're going to be using a um, laptop, PC and earphones or headsets you can choose. Yeah, bo. I'm going to show you a way and I'm going to show you uh, how good uh, vocals will be after. I was creating in I'm a piano beat here so I thought maybe I should just feature you and here uh, maybe you can just learn one or two from me today. Ne? Okay, this is a pure plain I'm a piano beat. So now I want to record my vocals. Um, the thing is, I'm using uh, the same input where I'll be recording. So while I'm recording, you won't be able to hear me talking because I'm about to enable this input here. But this is the way, there's no other way. So if this video gets muted um i think uh we have to understand you know so in this option here okay let me start afresh you go to options then you go to audio settings then from device um you choose it's either uh asia for all v2 or asia fl studio asia uh, i like but both of them are good but let me choose um i'm back i'm back guys uh something happened uh as soon as i enabled that input my video was shut off but let me show you on your mixer channel as soon as uh you choose any type of age you're yeah? uh you can come and on uh, an empty insert here you have to insert come here where it's written none uh, you choose any type of mics i think there is in one in two and in one and two so you have to choose either they are all good and they all sound the same you choose then you you come back and you just uh, press record so i have recorded something um it's vocals but they are not clean because uh we are using uh another type uh, of recording so we have to try and uh go undergo the noising process so you double click your vocal then you right click uh come here into edit on edit in audio editor then your vocal uh, will be uh, like this then you highlight this part where there is just noise uh, you come to this thing it's called clean up or denoise or acquire noise uh, you click then you say acquire noise profile just, just click once then you click for the second time then you accept just accept you can see uh this here uh the process is visible eh? then you highlight all the vocals so that it cleans all the hiss and noise and air uh on the room the reverb everything you denoise everything and your vocal will just be left clean and good Then you come back, you, you try and align them both. Okay, I'm pretty much 
Okay, that was my vocal. That was my vocal, but I, I, I will. I, I, I'm a bad singer though. I'm a bad singer. I'm a producer, so it's understandable. Most producers can't sing. <laughs> we, we cannot sing. But uh, let me take this to the mixer channel. Okay. And then let me just add parametric EQ and cut the lows. Um, I will just uh, insert three uh, effects, which is also tune. Auto tune. and then 99f okay i think everything is good here Okay, this was not the best of me. I know I can't sing, but oh, this is really bad. But the vocal is good. Eh? The vocal is sounding just perfect for a perfect singer. It will be very much easier and good. So yeah, this way is the good way. But as I've said before, it is the good way, but not quality. For quality, you have to uh, try and upgrade. This is this one. I believe I very believe it's for beginners. Eh? Uh, thanks for coming through and making it this far. Um, I'll be very much happy if you learned something from this video. Um, from denoising, from recording, maybe anything, anything, anything. I wish you best of luck, guys. Um, I just gave up on music, so maybe young blood can learn this early. You know, they say you have to teach. Um, other people early what you learn late so yeah good luck guys uh good luck thank you shout out peace and out <laughs>